Hi. Today I'm going to read you a book called Wonderful Nature, Wonderful You. Have you ever spent a day in nature? Did you notice how peaceful it was? Did you see squirrels scurrying past, cheeks full of nuts, while trees stood patiently hour after hour after hour? Everything moves at its own pace to do what it does best. We can learn many things from nature. Opossums are cute when they're young, but they look fierce when they're old. It's nature's way of protecting them. Flowers look pretty, they smell great, and some can be used for food. Moss doesn't have flowers or seeds. It doesn't even have any roots, so it can't get water the way other plants do, but that's okay. It gets water directly from the air, so it can grow on trees and rocks. Nature is wonderful just the way it is and just the way it isn't. You are wonderful too. A green sea turtle returns to the same beach where she is hatched to lay her own eggs. The beach may be hundreds of miles away. She may have not been there for many years, but when it's time to go back, she knows what to do, and she simply starts the trip. When it's time for a baby bird to leave the nest, it spreads its wings and flies. Nature expects to succeed in doing what it's there to do. You can do anything you set your heart and mind to. Do you really, really can. Birds may look and act very different. Even though they are all birds, some are large, some are small, some eat fish, some eat fruit, others eat seeds and worms or snails. Most birds fly, but some don't. Some even swim. They don't question their instincts. Each one just does what it feels right. You don't have to be like somebody else if it doesn't feel right to you. You know how to be yourself better than anybody else does. A snake doesn't rush to shed its skin too soon. It couldn't even if it tried. A tadpole doesn't hurry to become a frog, but it doesn't try to stay a tadpole forever either. Always do the best you can. Don't rush to get something done if it needs to be done slowly. And don't take all day if what you're doing needs to be done in a hurry. A caterpillar goes through a lot of changes before it breaks out of its chrysalis. As a butterfly, a tree loses its leaves in winter and grows new ones in the spring. The moon is visible to us some nights, and then it is not, and then it is visible again. Changes happening constantly in nature. Often change can be beautiful. You may not understand why a change happens to you. You may not even like it, but look for something good about the change and you might find it. Fish don't try to grow feathers because birds have them. Elephants don't try to fly and warthogs don't try to climb trees. Tigers have stripes, leopards have spots, and lions don't have either. Each is special. None of them tries to be different. There will always be people who can do things you can't or who have things you don't. You have your own special gifts. What do you think they are? What are some gifts that you have? Dolphins play by jumping out of the water, twisting in the air, and then diving back in. Sometimes they use their bodies as surfboards to ride the waves. Whooping cranes dance. They jump up, then bow to their partners, tossing pieces of straw into the air and catching them again. Don't worry about what happened yesterday or what might happen tomorrow. Just play with all your heart. Did you know you can choose what you think about? 
the ocean tide comes in and then goes out, then it comes in again. Sometimes sea otters dive and hunt for food. Sometimes they rest on their backs and float on the waves, but pretty soon they're ready to dive again. Sometimes the sky is blue, sometimes it is gray. The sun shines and then it rains and the sun shines again. Your feelings can change like that too. Sometimes you'll feel happy and sometimes you'll be sad. Sometimes you'll be angry or afraid or lonely and that's okay because sometimes soon you'll be happy again. A lion doesn't expect anything to be fair. Sometimes it catches its dinner, but many times dinner gets away. A lion doesn't blame another lion if it doesn't catch the animal it's chasing. It doesn't blame itself either. If zebras don't have enough grass where they're grazing, they move until they find a place where there is enough. If the lake dries up, the hippos that live there move to another lake. Life isn't always fair. Sometimes things don't turn out the way you want them to. Don't blame someone else and don't blame yourself either. Just try again. Gorillas look angry when they scream and pound their fists on their chest, but they only fight when they need to protect themselves. Most of the time, gorillas would rather be peaceful and play. Giraffes will kick up anything they think might hurt them or their babies, but they would rather run from danger than fight. You too can decide what's important to make a fuss about and what isn't. Probably you'll discover that most of the time, things work out better when you find a way to get along. Beavers build their home in a stream with mud and branches. When flowing water washes it away, they work together as a team to patch and rebuild. Ants carry pieces of food that weigh more than they do. If they have trouble carrying it where they want to go, they don't give up. They find a way to do what they set out to do. Don't you give up either. When you have a problem, there are people, a friend, a teacher, someone in your family who might help if you ask. Dying is natural. Flowers, trees, and animals live for a while, and then they die. When something dies, though, it never really goes away. It changes from something you can see to something you can remember. When something you love dies, a person or a pet, you won't see them again. It's normal to feel sad, but they will always be in your heart and in your memory. You leave footprints in the sand and dirt, and sometimes even in wet grass. Your footprints let others see that you were there. You also leave footprints people can't see, but they can feel. When you are kind, when you are helpful or patient, or when you share, you leave footprints that feel good to the other people and to yourself. What kind of footprints do you want to leave at home, at school, and other places you go? You can choose. You get to choose. So what did you guys think about that book? There's lots of good stuff in there, isn't there? And it's important to remember that you have special gifts and you have special things that just you get to share with the people around you. Nobody else has those gifts. So instead of trying to be like someone else or trying to act the way you think people want you to act, instead, think about the best you and the best version of you and how you feel comfortable and give that a try. Be the best you that you can be. It's okay to be different. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to be serious. There's times where we have to do all those things. So I hope you guys enjoyed that book as much as I do. And I hope you realize just how important you are. 
have the best day.